Hi, my name is Tracy Whaling from See Here Fear That. If you're a returning visitor, thank you for coming. And if you're new to this channel, welcome. Earphones are recommended for best sounds, as there will be ASMR in this video. I'm going to be talking about twin flames, specifically my twin flame, elaborating in far more depth to explain the story so far, so to speak. So if you haven't seen the Heart on My Sleeve video, it might be worth watching that first for a catch-up and it'll make more sense. When I was a little girl, I would lay looking at the sky, cloud watching, and wonder, where are you now? What's your life like? What is your family like? What is it like? Are you okay? Where you are? Are you happy? Fresh images of a park or grass area, trees, a boy standing on the trunk where the two main branches fought, and a hand on each. I didn't know if that was you, or if you were one of the boys on the grass beneath it. Such Just flash fun. images of the scene. What's and then the bell rang. Playtime was over, for me anyway. And back into school I went. See you soon. It was all I needed to know. You were here again, and I knew we'd meet again. And at Gross. that age, I didn't even question how I knew or I know. how did I even know there was some that it was just it's the way it was it's a fact you were there you my life began very differently this time compared to previous lives this time I was allowed to remember certain things and the reason for that would become clear eventually as and when I would need to remember them so from as early as just prior to being born the first early months that followed, I knew from a start that I was here to experience flashbacks, memories, reminders would pop back in every now and again, being shown and saying, oh yeah, I remember that. <laughs> Small conversations with my higher self, or rather, at the time, the energy that was just there, lately even more frequently than ever, after one particular huge download. As you'll see in paintings of dreams, videos, and various recollections, mm -hmm. it was becoming clear that time was getting ever closer, that we're about to meet again. I miss Some you. Some of the previous lives we'd shared knowingly or unknowingly at that time. We always knew before what each of us were going to do, and we'd always meet up after those lives. But it is the during moments that were special, that inner knowing and connection forever present one way or another. My furthest back recollection of my life, or of one life or other, is brief. A snippet, being in a dark cottage in the middle of nowhere, a crooked wooden table and stools or benches, dirty windows, a fireplace, a latched door, a tankard, me standing behind the table facing the door as you burst in telling me that we had to go quickly. Next flash was a path, a hill, and a hanging tree. I think it may have been that tree oh, you were rescuing you, me from. And me. a crow, a single crow, perched on a post on the left side of the path. I could never recall more than that. I was curious why, and of course I found out later. And I remember life where you weren't around at all. A shy and nervous life. Maybe you were. Way back as a kitchen cook's helper. The atmosphere was an unnerving one. It was a life and a time of great uncertainty. I miss you. The man we worked for was like a ticking time bomb. You never knew when he was going to explode. Why? Always home. We also feared each other, fully aware that people would do or say anything to try and save their own skins for the most part. Such was his position, death would have been a slip or a wrong decision away, and much depending on his wish. The cook herself was incredibly harsh, as you can imagine, hated by many on the quiet, respected though, but deep down we all knew she was frightened too. Ironically, the higher your position in life, the more chance there was of an early death one way or another. It was the way things were. We didn't need to know more than that. But it was a time that there was a loneliness I wasn't used to feeling. 
could chop with kept so busy I guess. Another life record years later. Still a toughie, still doing the same crap kind of job, waiting on others. But it was enjoyable and much easier on the nerves than the previous one. I mentioned this one in my Heart on a Sleeve video, that I was a maid and you were my friend, the gardener. We worked there from our 20s and 30s through to death. I don't ever remember you not being there, so maybe I went first. Flash images of being younger and older. Younger was scrubbing the floor near huge hallway stairs, and older standing in the garden in a pinny. <laughs> Sleeves rolled up and carrying a cloth in my right hand that looked like it was permanently attached there and it might have had to be surgically removed <laughs> from my palm. In the garden talking to you as we'd take a break with lemonade from the kitchen. Beautiful flowers, trees, rose bushes. You were an incredible gardener and we were the closest of friends the entire time we were there. An incredible bond but we weren't in any physical relationship. I get the feeling we weren't with anyone in that life. Strange to some I guess, but it was beautiful. Another memory, but this was different. A dream, astral travel, another dimension maybe. Who knows, it doesn't matter. Maybe I was slipping into your own current thoughts or memories or dreams, connecting and sending each other messages. This part refers to the video, the message, but since that time there have been even more dreams, more travels, more awake time flashbacks. As with the dream, it's more about a knowing than being able to fully describe it or pinpoint certain things. But there was certainly another life and another experience that came after the others I've mentioned. It's a feeling, not a monk, but you wore a cloak and a hood nonetheless. A sense of current confusion. Yours? Something's getting mixed up? Hard to say, but no doubt we'll find out at the right time. We could not be together at that time. Neither did we ever try to be. Yet we knew and we were connected to each other. It was like it was the first time in our physical lives that we'd been allowed to know and feel that. To be aware, really aware, of something more. That painting could not capture everything that followed. After the scene in the painting, you stood up, and as you walked with the people who were with you, you turned to look at me again. Eyes looked, but it was now more than that. It actually felt like something had locked, a key in a hole, a puzzle piece completing the picture. But it was far more than that, as a surge of energy so strong passed back and forth between the two of us. It was like nothing. I had ever felt in a physical body before, but it did feel like home. So strong was it that that feeling, that experience stayed with me for weeks. It really didn't matter what happened from that point on, whether we ever met in this lifetime or whether we don't. It simply is what it is. And it is home. The last life I remember was the most recent of all. So recent that I died four days before I was born into this life mm -hmm. and have kept many of the same characteristics as before, art being one of them. Orphaned, friends of the family made sure I was okay, yet there you were again. About 20 years older than me at that time, a help, a handyman maybe, maybe even a neighbour, I'm not clear on that. I don't get the feeling maybe we spoke. I was quite young. I didn't know you, but occasionally you would appear in the doorway just peering in briefly, checking to see if I was okay, never saying a word. And yet there was a definite connection. I just couldn't put my finger on it. And now, this life, <laughs> the most remarkable so far by way of that knowing from such an early age, the day we meet is going to be an absolute cracker. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> I wonder how much about me you know, if anything at all. And if you don't find me or figure it out during this life, I'm going to give you such a ribbing when we do catch up. So the painting depicts the best way I possibly can 
that when each life has ended, we've met as the connecting energies we were and are, simply connecting, working together to see the same things, but from different angles and perspectives, catching up and having fun watching before setting off on the next journey, wherever that takes us. Journeys that we each know about, but may forget or be unaware of during those experiences. Though looking over the patterns that have emerged and built and grown, who knows what'll be next, but always there, somehow, in some way. The painting shows how time is a total illusion, that as long as we have those connections, nothing else is needed. See how the backpacks are completely empty, weightless, see-through, totally transparent, as energy is until it connects. And it is all we will ever need. It is all that any of us will ever need. It's what we are.